Hey everyone, No One Left Behind back again with the third edition of Uran Part 2. Uh, we're going to be finishing building the staff that we're going to be completing to get off of Rainbow Moon. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to talk to Tondraest, and he's going to send us over to the Wild Steep. Make sure you talk to his assistant Melt to grab the ladder to get there. Uh, there is just so much to do on this island. Uh, notice that I'm at level 33 at this point, and we're. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fast forward over here. You're gonna go through the desert. You're gonna come down here. There's that hole you couldn't get past before. Use the ladder. Walk through. And now that we're in the wide steep, uh, there is a guy up here to the right named Realrom that we're gonna want to talk to. And there, I mean, there's tons of treasure in this area. There's a few side quests that you can access. Uh, we'll cover that in a different video. It's actually pretty straightforward. You know what? Now that I say that, actually, these uh, these things I've gotten so far behind. There's a lot of really good uh, videos out right now that cover some of the storyline and the progression in a much greater detail. In fact, uh, one of my other buddies on GetSponsoredForum.com has come out with a complete uh, beginning to end end game level 999 walkthrough. His name is uh, Street Hawk Fan, I believe, and I, I watched some, some of his videos. He's pretty quick to the point. He's still got a lot of the stuff in between that I've cut out to make, you know, for brevity and for reasons of shortness and just trying to, you know, maybe you don't want to know, like, every little thing. Maybe you'd like to explore a little bit on your own. Uh, that's what my video would be good for, but for his, uh, he covers everything, and maybe that's what some people want. So if that's what you're looking for go check his videos out he did a really thorough job he's got some commentary and after we talk to real rom he's going to send us to because he wants to become the tribal leader for the monsters and on the way down here there's going to be a few like barricaded areas with some of these uh stinger wasps or whatever their names are and there's four sets of them and go before you even bother with going on to this next part of the quest go find all four sets kill the monsters and get the treasures they'll have these purple monster badges and we're going to need that essentially right after we talk to this guy this the skeleton guy right here the leader of the camp so we'll get those badges there's uh one two uh right out in the open there's a third one just north of the camp and there's one south of the camp below everything all right so now that you've got the monster badges go over here and talk to Dright. i think that's his name yeah, draught, drite, um, fight him, kick his butt, and then immediately after he'll give you he'll give you some prizes, he'll give you some poison resistance, passive skill, and he'll give you a few flasks. Then immediately after you talk to him, give him the badges, and that will complete the second part of this right away. All right, so now that you've given him the badges, there's another uh, task that pops up that just kind of pops out of the blue. He d he won't give you any instructions to go talk to him. You just got to notice. There's this guy, Lorowitz. Lor uh, he wants to. He essentially likes Real Rom. He wants Real Rom to be the leader. And he's like, he's like, this is what you can do so you can help him out. And he progresses the storyline because he wants to end up being the assistant. Uh, that snaky little bastard. I mean, uh, guy. Uh, um, yeah. Anyways, after you wait, after you talk to Lorowitz, uh, Lorowitz. Go back up to Real Rom, and he'll give you the Axe of the Tribes. And this is, I believe, a signal to show that, like, Real Rom's really serious. Truck it all the way back down here. And talk to Lorowitz again. Lowritz. I don't know. These names in this game are crazy. I will give you credit for that. Uh, East Asia Soft inside quest studios you came up with some very unique names for this game i was pretty impressed about that i, I did not see one single gilgamesh or bahamut okay T or tiamat and so I, I give props for that so come back down talk to Loritz, and then after we talk to Loritz, we're going to want to go to zra's camp and it is just east of the monster village the yeah, let's go with that. It's just east of the monster village if you get on the raft. And we come in here, and essentially, this is a really short dungeon. There's a few treasures, 
and that doesn't that list doesn't seem complete but i don't think there's too many treasures in here to look for uh there is there is a rainbow metal when you get up near zara i think i yeah here here we go we walk up here and i'm taking my sweet time you gotta go hit a switch somewhere up here and you can fight these guys if you want I mean, I'm at level 36, so I was kind of blowing past them. Uh, it takes a while to level up when you do it that way. I usually try to go for enemies that are either just in the red or just come out of the red. You'll level up faster that way. And you do have the option of avoiding these enemies. So come up here. You're going to have to fight this guy. Checking the room for treasures. Yeah, you got to check all these rooms for treasures. Fight this guy. Hit this switch. And this is going to unlock that little path right there. And that path leads to Zara. And you fight Zara. And Zara is kind of like the big baddie who like just rules monsters. Like he he's the man, he's like he's like the granddaddy. He was the tribe leader a long time ago or something like that. And if you want to be the new tribe leader, you have to get his approval essentially. So yeah, if you notice this little video I've got up here in the top right corner, there are some switches with some flames around them. If you step on one of them, it'll transport you to a little room. In that room is a rainbow metal. Go pick it up because it's really easy to miss. So you fight Zara. He gives you the Axe of the Tribes. Or no, you give him the Axe of the Tribes and then you fight him and beat him. And Real Rom's like, or he's like, oh, you want Real Rom to be the leader? Okay. Well, he's now the leader, and he gives over the command and tells the rest of the... He's basically saying, oh, the rest of the monsters have to follow my decree. You know, Real Rom's the new leader. And he's like, and he's even kind of surprised. He's, he's like, I'm really the leader now? What? So get Real Rom's key, and that allows you to go to the Thousand Eyes dungeon. Essentially is what he promised you. That's that's why you were helping him because he knew where one of the artifacts was. And he was like, all right, I'll tell you where one of the artifacts is if you help me become the leader of the tribe. Which, not really like a fair trade-off. I mean, when you think about it, it's like, help me become a leader and I'll give you this trinket. I mean, they don't hold any value for it. So he gives you the key and you still have to go fight an entire other dungeon. It's not over yet. So come up here, and once you get this boat, all these items I'm showing over here uh, are actually is are the islands you can get to by exploring with that boat. It's kind of unlocked, or the raft, you can explore different areas up there. And you can get a rainbow metal and such. Um, all right, so now that we're down here in Thousand Eyes, there are four paths to take. Each path has a puzzle. Uh, in this one, you have to like walk through these things that would be portals. If you hit the wrong one, it'll send you back to the beginning. So follow that path right there. Fight this guy, and you'll hit the first switch. There's also some treasures around the room in the corners. Make sure you get those. And once you hit all these switches, then you'll be able to go fight Nemoris. And I think Nemoris is holding on to the artifact. Yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah, and this one's tricky. And I feel like one of these or two of these portals on here out of all these random ones i'm just showing you how to get directly through but if you explore around in those portals there's treasures in other rooms and i believe one of those treasures is a rainbow metal so be diligent when you go through that area and check all the portals or you can check another walkthrough around in it's in thousand eyes it's the southeast quadrant of the puzzle and that's and that's where one of it is so if you're missing one that might be it it is kind of tedious to find if you weren't really thorough your first time through uh this puzzle is pretty straightforward you just have to hit some different switches i think those are timed come sends you back out puts you in the room and then you take the one closest to the center and it'll put you in the bottom room you fight a guy you hit a switch and that's three out of four down it's actually there's a lot of stuff to do in this dungeon and there's a whole lot of treasures but if you want to you can pretty much run straight through it it is it is not a super difficult dungeon especially if you're leveled up and what we've been 10 minutes and i'm already at level 44 so that shows you like how many monsters you fought how many battles you had to go through this is not a 10 minute process this is like a five hour process essentially 
All right, so we're up here, and there is, I want to say there is a treasure up here. No, 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 it's in this next section. Okay, also, I want to say if uh, you're playing Rainbow Moon on PS3, that if you play any other competitive games, if you play uh, Call of Duty, if you play Red Faction, if you play GTA, if you play any online game where you compete against other players, come check us out at GetSponsoredForum.com. We host game nights. We record the footage, and we make a little montage with some commentary, a little music. We highlight some of the better moments of the night, from the kill of the night, the fail of the night, best plays, you know, Oh, like oh really kind of moment um whatever it is and we play different styles you know we don't just get into public games we play headshots only and stuff like that uh, we do all sorts of other things it's not just shooters well we try we're trying to get into other fields all right so you done with that dungeon you went through the four things you beat Namoris, and he gave the artifact we come back to orad and we talk to tondraest he cracks some old man jokes, kind of like, I don't know, what was his name from Ninja Turtles? Like, uh, uh, old rat, not Shredder, um, oh, wow, I grew up with this and I don't know why I can't think of his name and I know I'm going to get hate mail for this. So send in the hate mail and you can make fun of me because I don't know what the guy's name is. But I, I, all I see when I just talk to Tondra S is, ah, 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 I made another funny. All right, so Tondreas is going to send you on one final mission to grab the final part of the artifact. And he's going to send you to Greenheart Isle, and it's south of Orad. You'll finally be able to rent a raft from the guy in Orad. And you come down along this coast, there's a bunch of treasures, and I, I think my treasure list is about to pop up. But when you see the treasure list, there is a rainbow medal in it, and that tre this treasure list that's about to pop up represents this entire area of islands that you can reach with a boat. So see, there's a golden statue, there's a bunch of silver nuggets, there's two rainbow medals. Um, in addition, there are five keys that you will find around this area, and you'll find out about that after you talk to this guy. This guy's name is Aranti, I believe. Ar Aranti? Aranti? Yes. And He'll tell you he knows something about the artifact, but you got to have these keys from these ancestors that used to live on the islands. All the ancestors are dead. All the keys are in graveyards. So he gives you the green key. He's going to give you the green key for just talking to him. He's a real nice guy. I like this guy. He's the most straightforward. He's like, well, I can't help you, but I can do it this little bit. You have to go do it yourself. You're not doing anything for him. You don't have to talk to him ever again after this. So he gets the green key. And these other keys are, I believe, okay, one is with him, one is southeast of you on the southeast side of this little pond. One is northeast of this position. You see that big scorpion looking dude? You got to fight him and he's either guarding a key or you get a key from beating him. Yeah, this big mammoth dude right here. You have to kill him. So kill him, get the key in the southeast get the green key from Aranti and the other three keys are northwest of this island on smaller islands you'll find them on gravestones and you'll see what I mean by gravestones uh, yeah see this this little um, dilapidated area here okay there's a little I said pond yeah I guess it's a pond dilapidated pond swamp whatever you want to call it and you get the violet key and so what you're looking for northwest of this island are three gravestones that are just like that. All right. Now that I've basically laid out what you need to do, just watch the video. And I'm going to take a little more time to promote what we're doing over at Game Nights and the Get Sponsored Forum. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, before I do that, it, when you come up here, this is where one of the rainbow medals are. It's on this landing. If you walk all the way around to the east side of the island or on this back side, you'll find one of the rainbow medals. And, yeah, okay. So, over at Game Nights, like I was saying, we record footage and we get all this... Uh, we've done some pretty good ones. We've had three so far. So far, they've all been COD. This next week, uh, November 3rd, we're going to be playing GTA 4, and we're going to play some racing. We're going to do a little shooting. Uh, we're going to try. We're gonna, we might just do some free play. 
Um, that's always everybody's favorite, just running people over and trying to flip your car as many times as you can. All right, so make sure you check us out. Like I said, it's at getsponsoredforum.com, and that's enough of that. All right, so now that we got down here into the Cave of Ancestors and we got all the keys, there are a bunch of items in here that you can get. There's a few rainbow medals. There's a treasure room with a crap ton of treasure. I think it's got a total of 414 coins all together. Yeah, it's some, it's, it's some large number, so make sure you find it. Uh, I think I skip it. I really just knocked out every single thing in this dungeon that wasn't exactly related to what you had to do to get through. So if you just follow my steps, you'll be it'll, it'll take you right through this dungeon. And at the end of this dungeon, we're going to find this... Um, cocky little skeleton dude who has an item for us and he's also guarding an artifact or you get two artifacts from him at one time and one shebang and you'll be happy to know that man we're just about done with orad those are the last artifacts we'll need for building the the staff we need to get home and i mean that's gonna make life easy i'm just gonna say that right now like this is this part of the game is the biggest section of the game by far. And I guess I also want to apologize for people that were following this run through series that you've probably already long exceeded, you know, where I'm at right now. And I just I got backed up with a bunch of other projects. I started moderating over at the forums, a little more full scale, my hours picked up at work. So, I just haven't had as much time. I've slowly been working on this. I wanted to do some things with After Effects, but I guess the video formats between Vegas Movie Studio and After Effects, while they might not be, uh, they might not be, they just, they might not be encoded the same way. I know that sounds weird. They're the same file formats. They should transfer over just fine and dandy, but they don't. Anyways, so beat the Ixib guy, pick up the Artifact, Come back to Orad and talk to Tondraest. And he's going to ask you to give him all the items. So, oh wait, you know what? We have one more. That wasn't the last one. We have to go to Kassar. We go to Kassar Island. We talk to Stella, who was a friend in one of the older... Um, one of the older missions. One of the first missions we had to do. She's going to tell you to return to Southport Mines. And there was a room in Southport Mines you couldn't access before. Well, she's going to give you the key to get in that room. And it's right next to the entrance. You come down here to Southport Mines. You come northwest. You take a left. And then here's this guy. You kill him. He might be a little strong, so you might need to level up. You get this casket. You take the casket back to Stella. Stella's going to unlock it. And I think she's going to give you Curious Dust. Something like that. It, yeah. Let's see. See, da -da 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 -da. Ah, I was wrong. Okay, it's the crystal clasp. Okay, she gives you this. It is the last artifact you need to build the staff. You get another trophy. This is a story-related trophy. You can't miss it. Come back up here. Talk to Tondraest, and now you're going to give him all the items. You're going to give him all those artifacts you've been searching for all over Orad. Or Uran, excuse me. So you give him all the artifacts. But it takes him. It's going to take him some time to build the staff. He's got to put it together. He's got to assemble the pieces. It's not like he's done this before. So give him a little credit. Give credit where credit is due. I'm impressed that uh, you know the old guy is able to assemble these artifacts he's never touched before. Like it's you know second nature. Sure. So he's going to send you on a mission, and it's something. It's about Zaloris, and. I'm, I'm just going to give you a little spoiler right now. Zaloris is your sixth party member. He's going to be your final party member for joining this. And you know what? To be honest with you, I can't say that I played with him. I uh, I have my tank, my big dude. What's his name? Um, Dozeru, which I named Iron Fist. I don't know. Sorry, Tekken. Um, okay. Yeah, real quick. You go talk... You go talk to Tondreas, then you go over to the, uh, the desert, and you talk to Zaloris' friend. I forget his name. You come back down, you talk to Zaloris. He's like, I'm lonely, I'm incompetent, I can't do anything. And you're like, why don't you just come with us, and things will turn around for you. Okay, when you get back, 
Tan Reyes has assembled the staff, but unfortunately, it's not ready to be used. You have to have some magic glue to get it together. And he gives you the staff back, so it's not like he's like, oh, I'm going to hold on to you, and I'm going to ditch town. Um, so he gives you this recipe for magical glue, and it'll pop up a list of all these items in the northeast of Uran and Kassar that we're going to go find. There's a little bit on each island, and then there's some scattered all around. This is the second largest part of the game. It, I mean, it's it's basically split into Kassar, the Lord of Dungeons, or whatever is over there that uh, just keeps getting stronger and stronger enemies. And I believe that's where the final n level 999 boss is for the end game, the pinnacle of Rainbow Moon. Okay, so Tondreas gave you the list. He's going to tell you to go find these items. And now you can access the rest of the world via getting a boat. The boat captain down here, he's going to give you the map to the rest of Rainbow Moon so you can find all the way. And this is, like they say, the game says, this is an important milestone. So you get this boat. And there, man, I, honestly, I'm not going to cover everything you can find. There's some side areas, there's side quest areas. Uh... A lot of it has to do with post game, and I believe northwest of northwest of Uran, there's I think the Forgotten Island or something like that. It's it's a trophy, and I don't think I don't think it's going to be safe to go there until you complete these other islands that are to the northeast. Like I think you're going to be like need to be around like level seventy five or eighty somewhere in there. And actually, when you get up there, you're just going to spam through levels. It's just gonna, you're just going to fly through it. It's going to be so fast. You're not even going to realize it. All right. So that's the end of this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the audio quality was a lot better. I'm sorry I'm not going to add special effects. I really wanted to, but it just doesn't look like it's going to work out like that. Remember, if you enjoyed the video series, I will be finishing the game at least. I don't believe I'll be doing the post game. I'm going to refer you to some other people. I just there's so many projects going on right now I just can't see simply keep up with the amount of editing and stuff that goes along with making these videos so I'm gonna finish the game and if you stick with me for a little bit longer I hope it'll be worth it if you know you're just starting this uh, hopefully this game this game walkthroughs have sped you right through it and that's about all I have to say um, remember if you like it subscribe and check out the next ones that are gonna be coming out this is no one left behind signing out <laughs>